how to get Instagram followers fast, free, and easy. Now, that sounds like some three-legged milk stool analogy, but fast, free, and easy are all relative terms. And people will make you think that you can just get a million Instagram followers in 30 minutes and instantly be Instagram famous. But at the end of the day, that's not what you, somebody who has an e-commerce business or an affiliate marketing business really wants because that won't translate into sales. So I'm gonna run down 10 tips on how to attract and engage with your customers uh, so that you can make some money. Now, one thing that I want to jump into real quick is I did a, uh, I did a search for apps, right? You see all these things. Actually, let me back up one quick second. I did a, another search on YouTube for how to get Instagram followers fast, free, and easy. And all of these guys, here's 3 million views in 11 months. Here's a million and a half views in two months. People want fast, free, and easy Instagram followers, but it just doesn't translate into anything unless all you're doing is trying to one-up your girlfriend in high school to show her that you have more Instagram followers than her. It doesn't, for the rest of us, real people trying to earn money, translate into anything. So uh, most all of these things are scams. This one talks about... Um, do a follow, you know, as many people as you can follow with your thumb, you know, when you're on the toilet or in the bathroom or watching the NBA finals or whatever, just follow, 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 but it doesn't work. Plus Instagram has follow rules. So if you try to do it too much, you're going to get your account banned. So don't do the follow, unfollow, follow routine because it doesn't work. It does to a very small extent work. And I talk about that in one of my other videos, but Really, uh, you want to build a, an audience of real people, real followers, because real people are who have credit cards and debit cards and can buy your merch. So, uh, so that's one thing. The other thing that I tried to jump into real quick was these apps. Again, same rules apply. All of these apps, they're, they're absolute crud. I'm going to jump into this first one right here. You know, here's get a billion, you know, followers, whatever. It doesn't matter what it says. You know, one star. I thought this was a social media, not just TikTok. Uh, this is TikTok. Uh, this is an erroneous five star um, rating. Here's two stars. Blah, blah, blah. It says, give me all their followers, then I'll give you mine. Plus, a lot of these apps want you to um, log in with your uh, Instagram credentials, which ultimately might get them into your Facebook account, and then you've been hacked. So, be careful. Anybody that's promised you, you the world for absolutely nothing and all of that in 30 seconds, it's a scam. So stay away from it. If you put in the time and do the real work, you'll be rewarded. So let's get into my list of 10 things so that you can do to attract real followers quickly and get plenty of engagements because of it. So uh, let me get out of this. Let me jump right back uh, onto this screen because I want to mention to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I put out videos. I'm going to uh, be putting out an affiliate marketing infographic um, just like the one just like the one that I created a year ago on uh, how to launch products on Amazon. Um, it was vastly successful and a lot of people loved it. So they've asked me to make one on affiliate marketing. I'll have it ready in three weeks time and I will let you know when it's ready. Free download, no email address, no nothing, just direct download. Uh, but I'll let you know in a video, up and coming video uh, when it is. So hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified. Now on to number one. Number one is to post consistently. You have to be consistent with your posting because the Instagram algorithm will reward you accordingly. Now, what does posting consistently on Instagram look like? It looks like posting at least two times a day for six to seven days a week. And you think, oh my God, Mark, that sounds like so much work. And you know, it takes some work. Everything in this life takes work if you want to be rewarded for it. So one of the things that I use is Hootsuite um, and Hootsuite makes it super duper easy to automate your Instagram posting. I post on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram with Hootsuite, and I usually do it for every one of my videos that I post. So um, you can set it up in on a Monday morning with your coffee and do you know 12 to 14 posts, automate the, the uh, schedule for all of them, and away you go. Now, the second thing on my list is to create quality content. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't, I'm not a Hollywood movie producer. I don't have the skill sets to do all this. Do the best 
that you can. Quality content doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be the prettiest. It just has to be quality in terms of informational, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, obviously on Instagram, it is more of a lifestyle type of platform, so people like pretty pictures, but you can get pretty pictures from just about anywhere. Just make sure that about 70% of your information, uh, of your content is informational. And as such, you can create posts that are how-tos or unboxings or lifestyle type of uh, posts that relate back to your e-commerce product or your affiliate marketing product. So it really is in the long term, pretty easy thing to do. Number three is post when your audience is online. Now, initially you're not gonna know when that is, but over some time, uh, especially if you are say, have an e-commerce store that is focused on the US, uh, you know that your audience, you know typically roughly what the time zones are like if you also reside in the US. Um, and maybe your audience is morning. It all kind of depends on your niche, but maybe it's morning, maybe it's in the afternoon, maybe it's in the evening. You'll notice, you'll start to notice when you start to release your Instagram posts, what time they start to get the most engagement. And as such, you can go back and start to schedule using Hootsuite, uh, all of your posts to launch about that time so that they, you know that your audience is actively on Instagram and you'll get the most amount of engagement. Okay, the next on my list is to reverse engineer the hashtag strategy to find new followers. Let me jump over to pull up my Instagram channel. You'll see here um, my Instagram channel, I put uh, uh, this together in a video. I'll put a link to it here uh, above in the cards. But um, what you want to do is, if you do a search for, I'm just gonna do a search for like uh, camping. And if I jump into camping, I'll go into a post and you want to um, look at the hashtags used by posts that have a decent amount of followers. And if you go for the long tail posts, camping with friends happens to be the longest one in this one, you can go through and start to write some comments on these and you will get engagement back to your profile. Okay, the next thing on my list is to treat captions like many blog posts. Um, if you notice here, this is all the caption. Um, I do like the use of their emojis. People on Instagram really get behind emojis, but I would write it in such a way that it's more in short paragraph style, leading with an emoji. The human eye just is trained to be able to kind of digest that information quicker when you set it up like that. So the caption is really valuable real estate. So be sure and take advantage of it. Include a call to action. Um, I want to show you somebody else's, here's a post uh, from a gal that I saw. Um, use your images with captions in them because visually that is the first thing that's going to be seen is the image, not the text, etc. So you can see how she has a nice clean image. It could be anything um, with this nice classy clean uh, kind of layover right here. Utilize your images and the text that you can put in your images and have it relate to all of the caption. Okay, the next thing on my list is to fully utilize hashtags. Uh, Instagram is completely driven upon hashtags. So you can see uh, the extensive list of hashtags that they're using for this particular post. I really like this post with the, uh, the fire bellowing behind the, the mountain. Um, actually, I don't like what it represents because here in California, we've had a lot of wildfires. But um, what you want to do with your hashtags is to create a list maybe in a, a spreadsheet or you know at least a Word document, something, spreadsheet will probably be easier, of uh, reusable hashtags. Certainly your brand and your store name, all of these types of things, I would probably keep them categorized by, um, by category, uh, product category on your store, and then add in keyword specific hashtags for each of your product types. Again, if you are using this for uh, the strategy for an e-commerce store. All right, the next on my list is to be sure and use branding for all of your Instagram posts. You want to brand your, uh, well, your brand. You want to really uh, hammer home your brand for your store. And that means um, if you're, you, you're going to have your logo on each post, and I would use a different, slightly different color palette per, for branding, per each category on my store. If I had an overall 
uh, you know, camping store, then, you know, travel trailer accessories would, you know, have one set and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I would also put that information, my branding information, kind of on a, a master spreadsheet, perhaps the same one that you use for your hashtags. The next tip on my list is to optimize your Instagram business profile. Now I did a whole video on this and I'll put a link to it up in the cards, uh, wherever the card is, I always get it backwards. Um, but check out that video. I do a whole video on optimizing your business profile. The next tip on my list is to really utilize stories. Now, Instagram has reported that people under the age of 25 uh, engage with stories for over a half an hour a day. So especially if your niche market uh, tailors to that age audience, then you should really use it. And if you use highlights, then you're able to categorize uh, your stories much like you would categorize um, sections or categories on your e-commerce store. So be sure and utilize that to your advantage. Also, uh, TechCrunch, I read an article on TechCrunch. They said that um, Instagram stories has just surpassed 500 million users a day that consume stories on Instagram. Just crazy. And the last thing on my list is to utilize collaborating with influencers. Now, I know everybody says, oh, I'm a little too nervous to reach out to influencers. Uh, it makes me nervous. I'm nobody. I only have this many followers. The whole point about it is to get in front of an influencer that will get your message in front of their audience, especially micro influencers. Just like me, I almost have 3,000 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Big thanks to all of you guys that are watching. Um, and I've had people that have reached out to me to do some sort of video collaboration or promotion or things of that nature. And I've been very flattered to do it. So, um, and at this point we'll do it for free. So <laughs> reach out to influencers. Uh, most of the time you can get away with sending them a free product and having them review it or do something along those lines. Sometimes they want a little more money uh, if they have a huge channel. Some uh, influencers just sell uh, a package deal to you and that could be a good thing as well. But at the end of the day, reach out to influencers to get your brand recognized. Hey, listen, I just want to say that if you found this video useful, then go ahead and like this video so other people get a chance to see it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you'll know when I release new content. Also, when I release content in about three weeks time uh, so that you can grab that free infographic on affiliate marketing. And for now, I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future videos. And don't forget to like this video. Now watch that video next. Go ahead, watch that video.